going to take a look at a couple of modifiers today. The idea here is not to show you all the modifiers that are available to you, but show you how to use modifiers and go through them and see what is available in each modifier. So we're going to start with drawing a box. Now I've already set up my box with a bunch of segments. You can do this with any shape, any three-dimensional shape that you want to. Um, I just chose the box just because we can see some things on there that we can't with some of the other shapes. So in order to apply modifiers, we're going to come up here to our Modify tab, click on this drop-down box, and we can see everything that's available for this particular shape. Um, we're going to start off with Edit Poly. When we edit poly, we get this selection down here where we can choose vertex, edges. We're going to choose vertex. We're going to go up here to this lasso selection region. Um, we're going to lasso a little bit of this. We're going to pull it out. And that's as easy as that. So we're going to pull our box in again. This time, the modifier we're going to pull in is going to be a bend. And on the bend, we can bend it on a particular axis. axis. Um, we're going to bend it on the x-axis because that's the one that long, runs long ways here. We can see actually what it's doing a little bit better. So we'll switch over to the x-axis. And on the angle, we're going to increase our angle, and you'll be able to see this thing bend. Let's add one more modifier here. Come down to, um, let's try twist. And again, you can twist whatever axis you want. And on the angle, that's going to be the angle of the twist. So the best thing to do is go through some of these modifiers and just click on them. Set up a shape that you haven't spent a lot of time on. You don't, you don't mind if you have to delete it and start over again. And mess around with some of these shapes and uh, see what you can come up with. Sometimes we want shapes that are hard to actually model. Um, let's say that we want an arc and we want that arc to look kind of like a star. Um, now we can model this. We could go to cylinder. We could um, do an edit mesh, get the vertices, pull the vertices in, um, and get it probably close to what we want it. But there's another way of doing this. We're going to use two dimensional objects. And I'm going to create an arc. Okay, so there's our arc. Now I'm going to draw what I want this to be as far as the in the diameter of this. So let's, it's going to be kind of like a little star. There we go. We're going to select the arc. We're going to go to our compound objects. Click on loft. We want to get click on get shape. Then we're going to click on the shape that we want to get. And now if you look, our arc is now in this star shape around the diameter of the arc. 